Hi there, and welcome to The Salted Pepper, where we cook for real life, using real food, and we keep it real simple. And today, we're gonna make an absolutely delicious cauliflower fried rice right in the Ninja Foodie. I'm using the six and a half quart, but you could use the five quart, which is the compact model, or you could use the eight quart for this recipe, and it would make no difference at all. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is get our oil heated up. So what I'm gonna use here is two tablespoons of sesame oil. Now, you could use a different kind of oil, but the sesame oil really gives this dish such a great flavor. So I recommend using it if you have some. All right, two tablespoons going in to the inner pot. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. Sear saute on high is what we want. Just hit the start button. Now, for the vegetables that we're gonna saute, it's really simple. One carrot stick that I have diced up into about a quarter inch dice. You want these vegetables on the small side, um, but if you're not comfortable making a really small dice, that's fine. Make it a little larger. Just make sure that they're all uniform so that you can saute the appropriate amount of time uh, for the size of your vegetables. You just wanna start to get them a little soft. And then I have two stalks of celery, cut the exact same way. And again, two stalks for me was a half of a cup. If it's a larger stalk, you might only need one. So just use your judgment there. So put those in. And then we have a couple of other ingredients that I'm gonna add in in just a minute. So let me go ahead and talk about that. I have one tablespoon of lemongrass paste. Now, sometimes this is hard to find. When you can find it, it will be at your local grocer in the herb section of the produce market, and it's in a little tube. It's by Gourmet Garden, at least the ones I found are by Gourmet Garden, and it is a lemongrass paste. It is absolutely delicious. It has a really nice brightness and just a wonderful flavor to our fried rice, but if you can't find it, you can skip it. The other thing you can do is grate a little bit of lemon zest at the end. It just sort of brightens all the flavors up a little bit, but Again, totally optional, you can skip that. I have two teaspoons of soy sauce. You could use either a dark soy sauce or a regular soy sauce or a soy sauce substitute if you want to take this into the keto realm. And I have one teaspoon of freshly grated ginger. Where I get the lemongrass from, the same gourmet garden, also has a ginger paste. You could use that instead or you could actually skip it, that would be fine. Then I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of spice, and I mean a tiny bit. So it's a, just a chili garlic sauce, and I'm gonna use just about a half of a teaspoon, but you could totally leave that out, no problems whatsoever. All right, so those are the next ingredients that are gonna go in, along with a couple of tablespoons of honey. Now, I'm using honey because I like that, I like the flavor, I like the way it sweetens the fried rice, but you don't have to use honey. You could absolutely use a sugar substitute, again, if you wanted to take this uh, to the keto route, okay? Because it's a perfect recipe for that. All right, so I'm starting to hear a little bit of sizzle there. I'm gonna give these vegetables another little stir, and I'm gonna go ahead and start to build the sauce by adding in these ingredients. So two teaspoons of soy sauce, dark or regular is fine. One tablespoon of lemongrass. One teaspoon of freshly grated ginger. Half of a teaspoon of that red chili garlic sauce. I'm gonna grab it out of the fridge so I can show you the bottle. So you can look for it at the grocery store because it really adds a great flavor. All right, and now let's go ahead and add in our two tablespoons of honey. It smells so good. All right, so cauliflower rice needs cauliflower, right? So anyway, I've already got about three cups riced up and the last cup I'm gonna do right now. And I'm gonna use a total of four cups of cauliflower rice. You could use it already done if you wanted to from the grocery store, or I think you could even use the frozen variety for this, although I haven't tried it, so I'm not sure. But what I like to do is, is go ahead and make my own cauliflower rice. It's, it's really economical. I also will put it in the freezer. If I find a good deal on cauliflower, I'll rice up a whole bunch and I'll just leave it in, in individual serving bags in the refrigerator, I mean in the freezer, um, and I can just pull it out and use it in dishes. So it's really nice. And the one thing that I love to make cauliflower rice with is the Pampered Chef uh, manual food processor. For some reason, it does the perfect size for cauliflower rice. It's just amazing and no effort whatsoever. So this is my go-to. There we go. 
too. And sometimes you'll have like little bigger pieces in there and you can either, you know, do this if you want or just leave them a little bit bigger either way. Or you can process them again. All right. Okay, now four cups of cauliflower rice. I'm gonna go ahead and dump in the pot here. We wanna get it coated with all of this nice sauce. That's gonna add so much flavor to our cauliflower. All right, so mix it really good so you get all these pieces of cauliflower coated with that delicious sauce. All right, that looks wonderful. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and get it air fried, and one thing that I need to do is add in the peas, but I'm not gonna add those in until a little bit later, but I am gonna put in a half of a cup of peas. So we're gonna lower this, and we're gonna switch over to the air crisp function. We wanna go to 375, and we wanna take it for 15 minutes. So I'm gonna let the cauliflower rice air fry. What that does is it gives the perfect amount of cook onto the cauliflower rice. It gets this really nice, I'm trying to think how to describe it. it tastes like rice, okay? So the, the consistency of the cauliflower rice really tastes like rice. It is amazing. Like this is one of my most favorite recipes that I've ever done because it really makes me feel like I am indulging in the most delicious uh, fried rice ever and it's cauliflower so it's healthier and I love that so we're gonna go 15 minutes at 375 we're gonna add in our peas and then we're also gonna add in our eggs and we're gonna get some eggs scrambled in there for that traditional uh, fried rice okay all right so it's been almost halfway through the 15 minutes so let's just give it a little check and a little stir okay Right, just looking good. So you can see some browning on the top. That's what we want. And that's also why we stir. So we can kind of turn it around and get some browning on some other pieces of the cauliflower. It doesn't all have to be brown or anything like that. It's, oh my gosh, it looks so amazing. All right, let's keep on going. Now, I told you I would get this out of the refrigerator so I could show you the bottle that I use. So it's just a chili garlic sauce and you can find it at almost any grocery store. You can usually find it in the international food section of your local grocery store. It's really common. It's absolutely delicious and it is a little spicy so you just wanna add a little bit, okay? All right, let's give it another little stir um, before we finish up the remaining uh, air fry. Oh, it looks so good. It really looks amazing. All right, we're gonna go the remaining, uh, what, four minutes or so that we have on the timer. And then we will switch over to the sear saute function and we will get our peas in and our eggs scrambled up. All right, so we are finishing up the 15 minutes of air crisp on 375. And after it goes through the little cool down cycle, which takes about a couple of seconds, we will stir and then start to get our eggs scrambled and our peas added in. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump the half of a cup of peas. And actually that's about three quarters of a cup. It was the remaining uh, bit in a bag that I had in the freezer, so I decided to use them. I happen to love peas, but if you don't like peas, omit them, it's perfectly fine. And now the heat from the fried rice is going to cook the peas perfectly so that they don't get too mushy. This is the way I like to do it, but if you like your peas a little bit softer, you can certainly add them in before you do the air crisp time and it would be perfectly fine. All right, so now I'm gonna make a well here in the middle. I'm just gonna spread everything out to the edges and we're gonna use the sear saute again. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the sear saute on and hit start. I have one tablespoon of sesame oil, but I'm not gonna use it all. I'm just gonna lightly coat, probably might use like a third of it, so about a teaspoon. I'm gonna lightly coat the center of the pan, and that will just help prevent the eggs from sticking. And just let the bottom heat up a little bit, and then we'll throw those eggs in. These are two large uh, eggs that I just lightly scrambled up. I'm 
And what I like to do is kind of test to make sure. You want these, you want the pot to be pretty hot because you want these to start to cook right away. I just put a little bit in and see what happens. Yeah, not quite hot enough. So we're gonna keep going, let that heat up a little bit more. If you need to use more oil, you can certainly do that. The idea is as I pour in the eggs, the middle is so hot that it cooks them before it has a chance to run into the cauliflower rice. And as you see, that didn't happen. So my pan was not hot enough, um, but it's still gonna be fine. I mean, it's still gonna cook. The eggs are still gonna be uh, just fine in here. So once you start to see them set up, you can sort of break them up and get them into your fried rice. All right, let's go ahead and put a little bit more in there. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Still went over to the side, but that's fine. And then you could use a chopstick or you could use this, whatever you want, to sort of mix it around if you wanted to. I think I prefer using this. I think it's a little bit easier. Let's see how there's some egg stuck right there to the middle. That's why I would actually use a little bit more. Yeah, just keep that going. All right, let's go ahead and pour the rest in. And just let it set up and we'll finish up our fried rice. That's it, so go ahead and turn that off. I'm gonna add a little bit of garnish, which is just some green onion. I like to do that at the very end so it doesn't cook. It looks just like fried rice, and you know what? It's gonna taste just like it too. I just love this recipe. It is gorgeous, it is perfect. Oh, I just love it, look at that. How exciting. All right, now let's give it a taste. Mm. It's perfect. Wow, oh my goodness. This is so good. Mm. So the Carrots and the celery still have a little bit of bite, which I like. If you liked everything softer, saute them a little bit longer in the beginning. The cauliflower is soft, but still has maybe a tiny bit of crunch to it. And I think that I would actually like it probably when it cooks just a little bit more. It'll be a little bit softer and a little bit more like rice. But the flavor is so amazing on this. You just can't, you just won't believe it. It's so good. So the next time you want some fried rice, but you want to keep it a little bit healthier, grab the cauliflower, rice it up, make this recipe. You are going to love it.